Hi, welcome to quitmyproject.com. This video will lead us to the complete demo of unprivacy of encrypted speech communications. Secure speech communication has been of great enforcement in civil, commercial and military communication system. The importance of providing a high level of security becomes a major issue. Traffic analysis will help us to prevent the communication packet loss. Considerable size of the packets on timely manner on the time of data transmission. A traffic analysis attack to encrypted speech communication with the goal of detecting speakers of encrypted speech communication based on the OS activity detection method. It will reduce the bandwidth of the transmission. Here we have to produce the four level of bandwidth reduction. The traffic analysis attacks can greatly compromise the privacy of encrypted speech communication. Through this, we have to achieve the lesser bandwidth and high security data transmission. Next, we are going to see the complete flow of own privacy of speech communication. For this one, firstly, get the raw voice from the user in speech communication. So, this voice will help us to transmit the voice signal to client to server. Next, the voice activity prediction will help us to find the silent portion present in the voice signal. So if we remove the silent portions means we have to reduce the bandwidth of the transmission. Next, next we have to predict the attribute extraction from the encrypted voice. Before that we need to encrypt that voice by using the client public key. Feature vector formulation will help us to predict the features are presented in the voice signal. Morgovian model. Morgovian model implementation will help us to predict the which going to be sent the data. So speaker deduction will help us to predict the who will send the data and who will get received the data. Comparison of attributes with the call pool will compare the all the signals presented in the call pool and get the who going to be transmit this data. Speaker prediction using intersect will used to, to find out the speaker. So by this process we have to achieve the privacy speech communication between the client and server. Next we are going to see the complete demo of own privacy of speech communication. For this one we need to log into the server page. Here we need to start the server. So, so the server login page will contain the username and the IP address. This is also considered by the receiver side. Here I have to provide the username as client1 and consider the IP as 127.0.0.1 to log in to the account. So next login successfully. So after that login the received page will be enabled. So here I have to receive the data enable next I have to log in to the another one client side for this one first I have going to be register the user so the registration field will contain the name and IP so here I have to provide the name as client 2 and the IP as 127.0.0.0.1 then I have to provide the secret port number for the transmission and also provide the secret port number next I have to provide the phone number so that is 456 next I have to provide the mail ID of client After filling this filter, I have submit the details to the server. So the submission process will require the 16-bit secret key. So here I have to provide the secret key as So now the registration will get successfully. I have to clear my details and back to the 
login page here i have to login by using the my client name and personal ip number so now the login successfully so that user details will be shown here i have to choose the ip number where i'm going to be transmit the data from my contact list and i have to send to the user button so here the two level process will be take over one for the recording voice and another one for process so the record voice process will giving the able to recording the voice by using the servering so after that i got to record the voice i have to store it into the one place before that i have to stop the recording so i have now i recording the voice by using the audio streaming next i have to save the file by using the wav format here i have to save the file name as client to voice and save the file as wav format next i have to move to the process so that will record the browse option to browse the speech communication button so here i have to choose the client to voice dot wav so next i have to train the signal to remove the noise portion next i have to compute the codec generation the codec generation will convert the wave to text frequencies so for this one first we need to choose the wave file to which going to be convert into the text so here i have to choose the so convert this into the text file so it can so after clicking the converting operation you need to choose the here i have to choose the client to voice to convert the wave to text format so i have to proceed the convert button and close this operation and again back to the java page next move to the next level in this level will help us to open the client to voice txt file and get the frequency rating in the client to voice next i have to predict the silent portion in this voice signal so these are the silent portion timing length next i have to removing this timing silent portion from the inputted voice next i have to encrypt the files by using the sender public key so next i have to move to show the encrypted file so this is the encrypted file which are going to be transmitted this having the lesser bandwidth so the evaluation phase will show the bandwidth reduction by using the one by one technique so it will shows the inputted voice frequency silent removal and the encrypted next i have to send to the user so now the file signal is received server side successfully so the received file now shown into the desktop so it's also in the encrypted format next i have to move to the next level and to decrypt the voice signal by using the secret key and view this options so this is the frequency rating which are going to be sent out so by using this process we have to achieve the secured speech communication and also achieve the lesser bandwidth transmission in this graph will shown the bandwidth which are going to be at the time of recording the voice and at the time of frequency rating gathering that is a wave to codec generation next to the process of removing the silent portion and also the process of encrypted speech communication thanks for watching